they wanted to have water and fire for sure. And you know, we wanted to do this trough area, but we couldn't figure out, you know, there's a lot of water fire bowls, but nothing really just fit because we wanted the water to spill into the trough and then flow out of the, out of the scuppers on the other end. So when you can't find something that works, you just make it. So we custom made this one, um, this water feature so that it has spillways on all three sides and none on the back here. So it doesn't spill out on the deck and it, it fit in there perfect. Yeah, you know, that was a challenge at first to find the right company. And we ended up going with uh, Custom Cascades out of Texas, a great company. And they did everything that I wanted them to do for the design. They helped us, uh, you know, they're out of Texas, so they helped us over the phone how to hook it up and install it. Very responsive, great company. But it turned out exactly how we wanted it. Yeah. Because on paper, when we designed it, the whole point was for this to flow over here with this water, then it flows down into the pool. So you got a double, double tier fountain there and it's basically all gravity driven. So. Well, yeah, because the, the scuppers, normally on a water feature, you have a, a plumbing pipe going up to your scuppers and you're forcing water through it. In this, we just wanted it to spill over and these are just pass-through scuppers, so water just spills out into the pool. And that was another big challenge when we were trying to plumb it and figure out the hydronics on the pool because you, to get all that to flow evenly, it was a lot of calculations correct and, because once it's uh, done it's too late so <laughs> not much you can do at that point the plumbing on this pool is the biggest plumbing that we've ever done it's just amazing how much pipe and how many lines this thing took yeah it, it was a challenge let's go over and look at some of these water features too because that's another challenge is when you do water features in a pool it, it's all going to follow the path of least resistance so depending on how much piping and 90s and fittings there are to each feature you're gonna get more flow into it naturally. And then to be able to balance it out so your deck jets shoot the same distance, your bubblers all break the water the same. It's where we use a lot of control valves and, and different piping sizes to accommodate that. Pretty much did all the features that we like to see in pools with LED deck jets to bubblers, to even in the little steps going across to the spa, we have a bubbler in there and kind of made like a wet edge step. We went back and forth on this. Uh, we call them Jesus steps because you're basically walking over the water to get into the spa. And it's just a really cool effect. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that was a little bit of a challenge from the uh, coping guy to when they did the plaster to, you know, there's a little bit of challenge of plumbing that in. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it. It looks good when it's done. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of things that actually go into it. If you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com.